Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell and welcome to Best of Designers. Today we're going to take a look at a newer designer who is probably going places, has done some really fantastic work, and his games have a strong dose of theme in my opinion, and so I'm always interested to see how theme ties with mechanisms. And today we're talking about Ken Klenko, a very, very nice person. I, I know I said it's a lot of uh, of my uh, best of designers, but it's really true. He came up and talked to me at Gen Con and barely was there, right? It was just like, oh, wow. He was very humble, very nice, and has done some fantastic games. So today I'm going to talk about my six favorite games from Ken Klenko. Number six is Covert. Now, I think Covert plays best at two players, but a spy game where you're gallivanting across, leaving clues, and trying to accomplish missions without having your opponent kind of pick up on what you're doing. Uh, the spy theme is one that's really fun to play in board games just because of this sense of intrigue, and this game does a good job at bringing that out. Number five is Mad City. Now, this game, unfortunately, is, I don't know if it's still in print. This is from when Mayfair Games was still a company, and they had their games for families and this was kind of like a speed build your own little city game and it looked like a kitty game almost the cover and everything but the game actually had some pretty good thought behind it i really did have a lot of fun playing it and it was fun just trying to build quickly the best little city that you could mad city number four is his cooperative frankenstein game dead men tell no tales I call this frankenstein because it feels a little bit like pandemic a little bit like flashpoint fire rescue etc you are basically treasure hunters trying to get treasure off of a ship that is on fire um, and there's ghosts on it at the same time. And so you're trying to put the fire out, you're fighting off the ghosts, running from the ghosts, and then working together to get this treasure. It's very strongly thematic, uh, a lot of fun. Dead men tell no tales. Number three is a real-time game of his that really made waves a couple years ago, and that's Fuse. Now, Fuse is... Um, there's actually two games of his. Fuse is about putting out bombs. That's good, right? We want to dis dismantle bombs. But you have this, it's rolling dice and this kind of time limit type thing going on. And it really gives you that tension of, you know, guys, we really got to finish this because the bomb's going to go off. And it gives you, it, it, it's fun. It's not too stressful. And it's also a fairly short game. So I think that's part of its popularity. Fuse. Number two was kind of the sequel to Fuse of a Sense. And that's Flatline. I also really like the... Uh, the theming of this one here where you're a bunch of paramedics or people working in a hospital and people are coming in you got to figure out and treat them and get them going and you might not be able to save everybody but you want to save as many people as you possibly can a noble good theme this is a co another cooperative game with speed dice type actions and it really had a good sense of cooperation throughout it and my favorite game from Mr. Klenko is Flip Ships. This is a new dexterity style game, but it's a cooperative dexterity game. There's not many of those out there in which players are flipping ships. And there are little tokens and you're flipping them onto a pile. Think the Space Invaders as these ships keep coming at you and you need to try to blow them up as fast as you can. The mother ship comes, you got to take that out too. You have special abilities. There's a little bit more going on in this game than your typical dexterity game, but it is a lot of fun. And again, the theme is really strong. I look forward to seeing what Game Clankle does in the future. Tell me what your favorite games of his are in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and this has been Best of Designers, Kane Clankle.